she wouldn't know what to say. All right, so, uh, hey, welcome to the channel, and we're in a, the great poutine, oops, sorry, the great Canadian. Hey, welcome to our channel. Alright, we need to turn it just a little bit. There we go. There we go. Alright. Alright, I like. Hey, welcome to our channel. I'm Chris. This is Misty. <laughs> you know, so I shake my head. And do this every time. And we are Millie Time, Family, Family Foods, Foods, and Gardening. Gardening. And so we are a part of the uh, Family Extreme Team group. And this month's challenge is the Great Canadian Poutine Challenge. Now, I've never heard of this this meal before. This mm -hmm. is the first thing. I'm a, I'm a, I would consider myself a food connoisseur, but when it comes to other cultures, you may never ever heard it. I'm. It looks good. I believe it's going to taste good mm -hmm. because actually uh, prepared it. Mm -hmm. What? Wow, honey. My wife's just. Don't be weirdo. <laughs> What? I thought it sounded like it's from Louisiana, and it kind of makes sense because there's French in Canada, and then mm -hmm. in southern Louisiana, they're French too. So it's kind of weird that it's on opposite ends of the United States or uh, North America. But it seems like it'd be something that would be eaten in Louisiana. So that's pretty this cool. is true. It's minus the spice. My mom actually used to make something similar to this, except it was with eggs. It was fried uh, French fries. And eggs, it's actually really, really delicious. Minus the spice. They, if this was a Louisiana meal, we would have a tons of Cajuns and some sausage in there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> they're going to have, they're gonna have their... their uh, Hamburger meat or something. something. Yeah, they're going to add it. So anyway, so we're just going to hit the start button and we're going to go on and see how long it takes us to eat this. Yeah. I do want to mention again about my diverticula diverticulosis so people understand. Is it locust or lytus? It's, locust. it's diverticulitis when there's an infection, but there's it's diverticulosis whenever it's not infected. So okay. um, if you see me on here and I'm doing challenge, uh, we're doing challenges and, and I'm very, very limited or like I don't finish it or it just looks like I'm not even trying, it's because I have a condition called diverticulosis. And um, about two years ago, I um, had a bowel perforation and uh, it almost killed me. I was septic, dying, I had to go to the emergency room. I had to have emergency surgery. I had like half a foot of my colon removed and I had to be put back together. It was just really, Tra really bad, very crazy situation. Yeah, very tr tragic and traumatic for a family. And so um, I'm not able to really push myself with foods. Like I get really nauseated easily and my digestive system is very, very sensitive. I get infections really easy in my in my intestines, and so I have to be very very cautious. But I do want to participate, so I am um, you know I'm not gonna be as extreme you know as most or you know most people can be or are, but I do want to try. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. So now that the food is cold, yes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all right. But that's I think that's necessary. All right. All right. All right. You ready? Yeah. Well, I can hear. I can see it over here. Okay. So. All right, oh, here we go. We're gonna hit that start button. Boom, let's get down to it. See what we got. It is cold. <laughs> mm -mm. Where's that? I'm not finishing this whole thing, huh? How's that cheese? It's good. Mm -hmm. I like it. Pretty good. You probably cut the cold cheese. Huh? You're gonna cut the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> you okay. probably just ate into a piece of cold cheese. Mm -hmm. while he says cold. No, it's not cold anymore. I mean, it's not warm. And the baby got cold. But it's still good. It's still really warm. I'm saying the cheese is cold. Mm hmm. I know. It's nice. So you may have just hit a piece of cold cheese. <gasps> The gravy and the fries is cold. <laughs> Did you not hear what I said? It's cold. <laughs> Did you not hear what I said? You said the cheese is cold. Mm-hmm. Well, it's cold. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I think I found out about these, these challenges when you're eating. Your jaw muscles. I'm surprised my jaw muscles even actually even get like tired as much as I can jab. I think it's because you're paying attention to it. Mm mm. I feel it. I don't know. Because I can sit there and watch you eat a burger and inhale that thing. That's a lot of fries, man. There was one time we went, we went and got some uh, food from Waterburger and we sat down. Got our stuff ready. Sit down, eating and stuff, and we're talking. And Chris opens up his burger. I got mine, and I literally like I'm talking to him. And he's taking a bite of his burger. <clears throat> I look down, and I'm like getting some more stuff ready, like on my <clears throat> plate. And I'm like taking a bite of my burger. And I look up, and all his like his whole burger was completely gone, and there's food <laughs> <laughs> splattered all over his face. It, he ate it in like two seconds. That's why he calls himself the vacuum cleaner. Mm -hmm. I was like, do you chew that? Alright, I'm gonna like cheese curds. Well, I don't know if all of it done. Oh, but. <clears throat> Wind pants. <laughs> <laughs> I heard them wind pants person. Mm. <sighs> what is that? Let me see. I don't know that. I'm full. Four minutes, 42 seconds. You gotta show the camera to the screen, honey. Four minutes and 42 seconds. That's probably not even close enough either. Anyway. Now I'm going to go have my wife roll me to the bed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. Yep. This is Miller time. Bye.